Come closer. I want to talk to you. I'm going to tell you an astounding story. The story of the Maltese Falcon. 600 years, the Falcon has carried the mystery of a fabulous wealth under its grotesque wings. I could tell you a thousand tales of the men and women who have hunted this evil bird. But every story has the same ending. Murder. Listen to these incredible people, all consumed by their passionate greed for the Maltese falcon. What have you ever given me beside money? Have you ever given me any of your confidence, any of the truth? Haven't you tried to buy my loyalty with money and nothing else? What else is there I can buy you with? think we're going to? I don't know. How would I know? Because I already know an awful lot of people, and until one of them dies, I couldn't possibly meet anyone else. Well, if anyone goes on the critical list, let me know. Mm. As you can see, she was in serious trouble. But she still found time to enjoy herself. Mrs. Lampert, any morning now, you could wake up dead. Of course, she never had as much fun as her husband. Now, he knew how to relax. You see, it all began when he got off the train. Now there's a relaxed husband. Police probably think I killed him. Instant divorce, you mean? From then on, her life was one round of enjoyment. <laughs> Entertainment. <coughs> Enchantment? <coughs> what are you doing in here? I'm having a nervous breakdown. But her life wasn't always that gay. There were times when she was in dire jeopardy. Hasn't it occurred to you that I'm having a tough time keeping my hands off you? Oh, you should see your face. What's the matter with it? It's lovely. When we played our charade into the forbidding majesty of the great Madre range go men. Their pasts buried in silent secrecy. Their futures hidden in the mystery of adventure. Men drawn together in their search for gold. Don, soldier of fortune. Howard, the old timer. Curtin, the youngster. And Cody, the intruder. These are the men who tried to tap the treasure of the Sierra Madre. Men with an oath on their lips and muscles in their arms but men with greed in their hearts, ready to break their backs, to sell their very souls for gold, fighting shoulder to shoulder against the forces of nature, only to find their greatest enemy is human nature. Shut your trap, shut up, or I'll smash your head flat. Ah, oh, I throw it. Without me, you two would die here more miserable than rats. Leave him alone. Can't you see it? The old man's nuts. nuts. <laughs> you're so dumb, you don't even see the riches you're treading on with your own feet. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, I don't want to keep that dame waiting, whoever she is. We wounded this mountain. It's our duty to close her wounds. The least we can do to show our gratitude for the wealth she's given us. You talk about that mountain like it was a real woman. She's been a lot better to me than any woman I ever knew. I know exactly what you mean. You want to take it all for yourself and cut me out. I know you for what you are. A long time I've had my suspicions about you. Now I know I've been right. So that's your stinking game, is it? Informing. I knew you was an informer. I knew it all the time. 
Take a look down that mountain. This means all our funerals. What's that? If I'm right in what I'm thinking, may the Lord be with us. And that soldiers, they're bandits. <laughs> Is Mr. Martins engaged on our new book? Yes. It's a murder story. It's based on fact. It's called The Third Man. Heard of Harry Lyme? Best friend I ever had. So you're going to find me the real criminal? Sounds like one of your stories. You're wrong about Harry. You're wrong about everything. You never should have gone to the police, you know. French Morocco in North Africa. The meeting place of adventurers, fugitives, criminals, refugees lured into this danger-swept oasis by the hope of escape to the Americas. But they're all trapped, for there is no escape. Against this fascinating background is woven the story of an imperishable love and the enthralling saga of six desperate people, each in Casablanca, to keep an appointment with destiny. I was willing to shoot Captain Rano, and I'm willing to shoot you. All right, Major, you asked for it. You knew how much I loved you. How much I still love you. about you than you suspect. I know, for instance, that you're in love with a woman. It's perhaps a strange circumstance that we both should love the same woman. What do you want for Sam? Don't buy and sell human beings. That's too bad. That's Casablanca's leading commodity. You can ask any price you want, but you must give me those letters. That's all. Right. I tried to reason with you. I tried it. Now I want those letters. 